So this morning, I need to find some reception to apply for a couple of other islands that we want to go to. You got to go onto the council site and apply. But I haven't had reception. But Janice reckons you got to hike to the top of this rock peak and you get a little lick of reception, a little bar, one bar, which hopefully is enough to send an email and let mum and dad know that we're still safe and well here in the islands. Oh, the benefit though of a bit of an early morning hike is that you get greeted with a view like this. <laughs> How beautiful is that? It's a big protected bay. That's where we were at yesterday. Getting crazy and chasing stingrays. There's the camp down here where we've been sleeping the last night. And there's a nice anchorage, sandy anchorage. And a glass out day here in the Straits. All right, I'm gonna get this over and done with as quick as possible. <sighs> but what a spot. Such a good spot. Good spot to do business. Yeah. I told mum we're alive. No news is always good news. <laughs> I'm um, thoroughly looking forward to it. Um, you, here you sort of never know what to expect for the day, like who you're going to meet, um, which like environmental system you're going to go to, whether it's like the mangrove option or the rocky headland or the big exposed bay. But the weather's on side and I'd say, I'd say anything's up, up for grabs, up for grabs today. What do you reckon, Jaggy? Today's probably going to revolve around catching a feed and cooking it up somewhere and probably a couple of dozen cousins coming over for a feed. <laughs> Hopefully and then so today is our last um, our last day on this island and then we're gonna pack the boat up and and steam it further north towards where we initially wanted to set out to um, yeah the bottom of Papua New Guinea. It's been a hell of a ride the journey is all that exists keep on the move tomorrow. It was decided this morning that we would start the quite a long process of making coconut oil completely from scratch, start to finish, which the Torres Strait Islanders have been doing for a very long time. And the first thing we needed was to harvest coconuts. Fortunately, they seemed to be everywhere. We wanted ones that had fallen on the ground and ideally had just sprouted. So they were dry, mature ones with brown husk. Enough, there it is. Make your bunch. One finger. Yeah. <laughs> you always go behind it. It makes it easier. If you go like this, it, does, it doesn't really work. It gets hard. So behind that line, at that point, push it out. Here you go. Perfect. I'm going to keep this for the mozzies. These will be so good for the mozzies. So it's a good breakdown of the inside of a coconut. You've got the husk there, which we're going to throw on the fire, and that's natural mosquito repellent. And you've got your shell on the inside, where you have the musu, or the nirvana, or the embryo. It's like hard and firm, pretty much coconut fairy floss. And then that there is what would grow out to be your palm tree and then the roots would stem from there if you planted it on the beach like that smock them up coconut husk dried natural mosquito repellent smoke them up i'm gonna show the plot make a perfect crack oh it's between the eyes perfect crack 
Yep. Right, how we do it to you? Right on top of the skull. Well, you wanna see got the face here? Yes, yeah, the face, eyes, mouth, the line in the middle. Oh, oh there we go. Absolutely perfect. Your beauty. So sweet. So sweet. Little water there. We're just putting a couple of litres yeah, in. Not too much. Maybe if you watch that corner. Coconut oil mm -hmm. is used in many forms of cooking. It's used on the skin, in hair, and teeth, and other forms of healthcare. And also along the way, we'll be able to use the different stages of the coconut we are processing, such as the husk, to be able to eat the meat, drink the water, and also use the cream. Where are you going? Oh, geez. Hello, darling. Hello. My lips like coconut. Go yeah, give him one. Mm. Oh, it's just, it's, it's the good stuff. That's beautiful. Mm. Okay. Save some for the garfish. Well, garfish. Garfish. All right, we're going for the afternoon. Cussa around the island, looking for a bit of tucker of some description. Maybe garfish. Maybe craze. Maybe fish. We don't know, maybe shells, maybe pippies. Not really sure, but we're all jumping in the boat. Is this the mouth of a little river here? Yeah. Oh, we're on the hunt for garfish. They're bloody tasty. And they're generally very prolific until you want to go hunting for them. And then they hide. Oh, oh, I think they all saw that coming from a long way. But six, six or so in, I put it straight over the top of them. Really? Yeah. Oh, I brought you a fun little poo basket. Oh, cute. We did, we did, did, did. So what are we going to do with these? Um, make soup. Make soup. Just boil in fresh water and uh, <laughs> boil it in salt water. Uh, so, no, salty water. It's hard to know what to do. Then um, we, we can half them and each can try a different way. This, then yeah. we can put some of the parts from the head in there to make the broth. Ooh. Then we'll add tomatoes and chilies. That's wild stuff, oh, man. So crocs come out of this clean, crystal clear water here. And here's some of his tracks. Big paw prints there. And then this long tail slide. So they're coming out from the beach. Up over this flat here and then straight into this billabong in the back. Summer in PNG. Where are the boys up ahead? Yeah. With near perfect conditions, it was time to jump in the water, have an explore, and hunt some seafood for lunch and dinner. Little spotted grouper. Spotted grouper. <laughs> Otherwise known 
more accurately known as gold spot cod. That's a great fish. Fish grill, add to the fish grill. This is the setup, what we're looking for, for rocks to get a feed of crays. You see these ledges, see how crays can just walk along here at night feeding, and then when, before the sun's coming up, they want to find a bit of protection, they can just dip under these ledges and hide away from all the cod and sharks and pretty much everything that wants to smash a tasty crustacean. Here's a good one. <laughs> Soft shell? Yeah. We're out in the small crows. Heaps of small crows, probably, I'd say 10 for every one. Good one? Yep. One. Jack your legs. Let me go with those. Three, three crows straight out from front reef again and a handful of some of the tastiest fish in the world. Phew. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Mother Nature. Thanks, boys, again for the dive. Pleasure, man. Thanks for, um, thanks for getting some crows. Now, let's feast. Phew. All right, boat's anchored. We're back. It's mid-afternoon. It's dead still. It's bloody hot. Super specky. A dry bag full of flour, rice for a curry and some Johnny cakes tonight. We're gonna to make up with the seafood. I've also ripped in, big move, the Nutella rations. I've dug into the Nutella rations. I've done it. Good so last night with the crew here, with T.O. and Janice before Aaron, Jack and myself keep heading north tomorrow. We're gonna to have a proper cook up proper cook up and a few quiet sasabi I'd say and have a really big bonfire I think that's what's on the cards Ugh. and if any part of that any any part of that happens it'll be a good time get him, get him. be gone mosquitoes be gone Arr We're doing up a bit of an afternoon entree before the main event. We got one fish, one crawdad. Cray's done. Oh wow, well, it's tender. It's so tender.
We literally didn't do a thing other than spear the fish, cut one of its gills to bleed it out, and just threw it straight, I don't know, about 10, 12 inches above hot coals. Right, look how tender that is. Got a knife there, bro? Thanks, so. man. Right, look how tender that is. It's just literally falling off the backbone. So fatty, hey? Fat, yeah. Look how fat on the, on the, on the guts. Oh, that's mm. yummy. Oh, it's hot, 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 hot. Use the bowl. Hey, use the bowl. Yeah, we're yeah. there. What are we doing? We've got to use the bowls. The coconut bowls from this morning. How great are they? Sensational. Save you for later. Alright, that's what I've gone. Fish with my grandmother's Mary's not so sweet chili sauce. And crayfish, shredded cray on top. Ooh, you got a little coconut bowl express there. Nice piece. Thank you, Grandma. Pineapple from the soon to be pina coladas. Get yeah, so honest honest rain. opinion with the with the coconut cream and rum. It's like Bailey's, isn't it? Like similar to that of like Bailey's but mm. more coconutty. Hey, creamy and better and creamy. It. Mm. Yeah. It's a good time. What do you reckon about him? Yeah, Bailey's like but it's like whiskey mm. and cream, I guess mm. it's creamy. Yeah, it's yeah. creamy. 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 Mm. A little bit of bush honey in it goes good too. Ooh. Mangrove jack, coral trout, gold spot cod, an oriental sweetlip, and a couple of crays. Final day here on this island, we've got a seafood curry for dinner. I'm going to do up a big pot of rice as well. So we're going to do it up with yeah, a few of those fish we got earlier on. So really looking forward to a, a good meal with the crew for the final night before heading off tomorrow morning to get to New Guinea. Well, very, very bloody close to Papua New Guinea. And because it's our last night together and I haven't seen Janice in a very long time and T.O., it's the first time meeting him, I think tonight we're going to send it a little bit. Do a really big bonfire with some palm fronds. I hope you guys enjoy this episode as much as I did living it. I hope you can get out there yourself at some stage, whatever that looks like. And if you want support, if you want to support... If you want to support Back to Basics, um, you can head onto our Patreon channel for exclusive content, jump on our uh, Instagram, Facebook, check out what we're doing there, or jump on our website and get yourself kitted out and, um, and more in tune with what Back to Basics is all about. We'll see you out here. Garlic, onion, curry paste, kaffir lime, a little bit of chili, some coconut cream that we just squeezed in there. Fish in. When that cooks down a little bit. Trevally ceviche, sashim e. Nice. That was a buzz. Stoked on that. That's great. Very special occasion. Gold spot cod, coral trout, and mangrove jack curry with Thai basil, turmeric, lemongrass, and sweet potato with coconut, coconut bowls. bowls that we made today. Thank you. Thank you, and guys. Rice, which Aaron made just then. Stoked. You. Let's do it, team. Let's get into it. <laughs> it's the last supper. Hey, <laughs> for now. That's deadly. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt that is deadly. Ow, burn myself.
This is going to be such a good feed. We earned it, team. All right, let's get the beats cranking again, Harren Man Monis, if that is your real name. It's happening. Wake up, turn, go out, eat, then 